Hey, we're too close to touch. And you're, and you're listening, listening to Louder. So I managed to grab all, every single member of Too Close to Touch. How are you guys? Good. Good. Great. Finished up on the slam dunk set. Bang up going on. Good, but good, good, yeah. Okay, so how was landing in the UK? It was your first time. Yeah. And it actually started with a bang, an emotional one. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think second day of your tour, Manchester? Yeah. 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 It was, uh... Were you nervous? I... To be honest, I mean, no? no? Not, like, I guess everyone that tried to have... Yes and no thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, We're, obviously, there's like the, there's like the, the, the you know, it's fresh. Yeah. It's like the un, yeah, you feel, unsettling. You feel, feel a little bit more vulnerable than like at home, you know what I mean? But I don't think any of us were like particularly scared. We just went and did what we always do, what we're used to doing. After after like the first few beats, uh, it just kind of comes natural. We're pretty used to it. But uh, it was more just like waiting to see what was going to happen. Not like, not in a bad way, but like if like kids were going to still show up or if the show was still like, we fully intended to play from the get go. So it was, it was more of just like an uncertainty as like what's going to happen, what's it going to be like, what's the vibe, but it was fantastic, man. Everyone was great, spirits were high, you wouldn't have even known. It was a really fun so show. Nothing happened. No, if, uh, to be honest, I mean the crowd, or the show I think was like maybe 20 tickets from selling out yeah. or something like that, uh, and uh, it was a really emotional vibe in there, and if anything, like the only thing that happened I would say is like feeling like a kind of like otherworldly like emotional connection with the audience I mean you always do like feel that connection when you're playing but this was like I don't know we, and we addressed you know what happened during our set and stuff and like told them that we stood with them and like and it was it, like everyone everyone felt like this sense of unity it was it was really cool to, to be in a totally different place but still feel like connected with the people like you know but I think we can all relate to the same thing of music being some sort of source of escapism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then between Paris, just over a year ago, and I think even Florida, uh, the clubs last yeah, summer, and sad. Manchester now, and it just hits us where we feel the most comfortable. So does it affect you as musicians or through your fans? Um, it's it's strange because a lot of the the places where things have happened, like we played Manchester shortly after that attack, and in Florida there's a venue that we consistently played called Back Booth, and it's within a couple blocks of, of where some of the shootings have happened, and like it's it's kind of nerve wracking going into it because you don't know what to expect in any given show. Like there's there's the feeling that it should be safe, but kind of in the back of your mind there's always the concern that something could go at, go wrong, and like you've got to kind of be alert and like watching for suspicious behavior or anything like that and like you just have to be safe you can't like put your safety and just be like they're gonna take care of it you have to like be about your wits you know what I mean like you can't just go and just expect security to get every single thing so like you know if you see something like that's going on you gotta say something you know you gotta all everyone's gotta contribute to keep everyone safe you know? I think like the love of art is really embedded into our souls and it's going to take a lot more than a few people that are too ignorant to fight with words to take it from us. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's it's embedded pretty deep. So you know is I mean? the next album going to be more political? Uh, uh, no, not, not Donald Trump political, but still fighting back uh, uh, against all the people it, that don't... It may I think have it's too early but I think it wouldn't be... I think it's too early to, yeah. to really, like... We're just not a very, like, our, we're not a very political, like in the spotlight kind of band we don't really try to push that kind of like any kind of agenda like really like it's more personal experience and like emotion yeah well yeah yeah i mean like it's more just about it's it's kind of like the like giving people an escape we don't like you know there's enough people out there like doing that that are probably more well spoken than we are like politically and stuff like that so like it's kind of like you got to find where you fit in and the best way you can contribute to something and i think ours is more like the emotional yeah. like kind of take your mind off of one thing and focus on something else you know you, you yeah, i feel like ours is, our music is more instead of political it's more of just say like an outlet for people i feel like he says the words that a lot of people are feeling inside you know and um it's just that they may not say on their own, but they can connect to our music and just feel something to it. Instead of just being like, 
this happened and we're gonna write a song about it. We're like, this is what our lives are and this is how we feel and this is what our music is. Sometimes before you can really like worry about the stability of everything else around you, you've gotta make sure that that you're fixed yourself. You know, like not not in a in a way like, you know, always like we're we're all like selfless people and stuff, but you know, like to, to a degree, you know, it's if you've got things going on, like if you, know, if you yourself are breaking, then you know, like mental health is so important and, and stuff. Like it's and it's so important, like for you yourself, you know, t- to be okay. And, and sometimes people have to realize that. You know, there's so many other people that constantly just give and give and give and give to everything else around them and stuff, and get distracted by everything that's going around in politics or whatever that they you know they just put off fixing themselves and and that just only leads to bigger problems that you know and i know whoever followed the band's career knows that a great source of comfort for the band is catfish stevens (laughs) (laughs) did did he make it to the uk he did not no he he did not is he he still alive uh yeah he's hanging out with uh we also have a five foot well, it's not, not like maybe four and a half. Four and a half. Uh, a stuffed ET. Okay. Um, so he's actually uh, he's got a, the ET's got his arms out. And he's actually, or at least he was holding uh, Catfish Stevens. So uh, the truth is, we couldn't afford another checked bag. <laughs> so, no, so ET is here. No, ET is not here. No. They're they're both back in the states, just kind of. Yeah, yeah. If I'm mistaken, you guys are going on the walk tour as well. (laughs) Yes, we are. Not your first time, so can we expect them to be there for you? I mean, we all know that walk tour is really intense. I think you're doing the entire run. So ET and cuddling Kathy Stevens. You never know, man. Yeah, that's what we got. ET was all all about trailer room. Last year we had to to haul around a dirt bike (laughs) for (laughs) five weeks. We did have a dirt bike. So I mean, if we can if we can deal with a dirt bike being in there, like a, a four foot stuffed fish making an appearance, being thrown at the crowd every now and then, it's not too out of left field. I'm kind of just afraid someone will run away with him. You know what I mean? The fence <laughs> to the death. You, know, I mean, you gotta catch like him. Like a duel. Like a duel. Those little legs scurrying all around. You know, they're they're like a much I feel smaller like our fans. Game. I feel like our fans would would fight someone that tried to steal cat. <laughs> they're just like our really get that fish. Yeah, like our, <laughs> that'd be pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, if like yeah. someone tried to steal our fish and then all the fans Ooh. attacked him, and everyone just turns and just runs after him. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last time they ever stole a four foot stuffed fish at an outdoor concert. So I'm gonna be waiting for some news on that. Hopefully, both everyone's gonna make Warp Tour alive. But. You've been to Warp Tour. You just started Slam Dunk. Can you compare the two? Yeah. A lot of the, you see some of the, a lot of the same vibes. Yeah. yeah. Especially playing the outside. Yeah. It, it felt a lot like Warp Tour. Today. No heat though. No heat. No. no. The weather is that was awesome. It's preferable. Definitely. Yeah. We're not like sweaty and. Yeah. But I'm gonna point out the fact that the second you started playing and singing, everything got emotional, and the sky just opened up and it started raining. Did it? Did it? It did. I didn't feel the rain. Yeah. Well, we're under a yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah we're covered. Yeah, so we it got emotional for the crowd as well. So I don't know if it was the aim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's awesome. I mean, it's always the aim. Yeah, yeah. somebody yeah. feels something. And can I ask? Is I know that in the past you've mentioned that you cannot grow a beard nor a mustache, but yeah, I see oh, a fuzz, oh. a British fuzz. So is oh, it something that I you got for your jet lag? I'm proud I shaved this morning. <laughs> but no, I I mean, maybe if I if I went with it, nothing like that. Like You never know, man. I didn't know I, until I just went for it. I like I might could get like two years on the force New York cop, like that kind of that stash. You've seen fought, some but, things. But fought, yeah, seen some things. Like yeah, lost my partner, that type of thing. Uh, but never yeah, like, never like the next, a. the next record. <laughs> but never like a firefighter stash, like big, just a big thick like bratwurst. Uh, so like, no Tom Selleck. No Tom Selleck. Like uh, I mean, hoping for a Burt Reynolds by the time I'm 60. But that's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's I don't know what's in the cards, man. I don't know. Okay, so I gotta make it emotional one more time. Oh, it's fine. Um, I think you've all dealt with some loss. Um, I know the last album dealt with yours, um, and I think we all dealt with a big loss over the last week. Um, Chris Cornell. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So, does it affect you? Does it scare you as musicians, as touring musicians? 
No, um, it's it's a tragedy. Yeah, like, it's definitely a tragedy. Yeah, yeah I, I think, uh, like, in the specific case of Chris Cornell, I think he'd been kind of dealing with things for a long time, and uh, I like to think that we surround ourselves by people we know we can talk to if, if anything like that were uh, kind of searching through or... Uh, you know, I, I believe in uh, recovery and I believe in like uh, mental health, and I, I'm sure everyone else in the band does as well. I'm sure I speak for all the band that, you know, uh, that we're all capable of getting help if something were to be really be eating us uh, like that. But um, yeah, it, it's it's not a not a like it's, it doesn't feel very relevant to this band. You know what I mean? Not not that not that uh, he's passed away or whatever. Just the like. You know, lost sinking kind of feeling. We're, uh, you know, it's like you can, you never really know something like that's gonna. Happen. I just lost a friend to uh, uh, suicide not too long ago, and it was very, uh, it was very sudden. But I think we've all known each other uh, long enough, and that it's, it's pretty easy to to pick up on signs when someone's not okay. Uh, and like he said, you know. We all use each other as a crutch when, you know, think things like get to a dark place. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's that's something you don't see everywhere. You know, I, I hear stories of, and I don't know how close everyone in Soundgarden was with, with each other. You know, they've been a band forever, so I'd, you know, I'd like to think they knew each other really well. But, you know, in your later years, maybe it's a lot easier to mask uh, things like that. But uh, I imagine that band just doesn't spend like a lot of really. Impact. Yeah. We're very like very very much within three feet of each other for yeah. hours and hours yeah. and hours at a time. When you're on that level and you've been doing it for so long, they yeah. probably all have families and oh, yeah. you know that's where when you get to that age, you just sort of it's not like a drift apart. It's just like you're more, there's life. more life. There's you're more in, like individual life that you have to handle. I mean, those guys have been around for ages, like touring together, living together, like. I mean, how many years were they around? Like, do you think having a family back home makes it more difficult? Dif- I mean, yes and no. It's nice to have that support, but at the same time, difficult you miss. Difficult to tour. Yeah. yeah. Is that? It's difficult to tour. Just to be away from everything. So I mean, yeah, it's yeah, always it's hard. You miss your friends, your family, but like at the same time, it's really comforting to have something to come home to. Mm-hmm. You know, like that sort of makes it kind of pushes you in a way. You know, to get through things and do the best you can because. It's just always in the back of your mind. Like that's with any job. Like you know, you're you're doing it for them in, in a certain sense. You're doing it for yourself, firstly. But you're also when you start a family or you know you have your friends. Like you're kind of like representing them in the same in the same way when you're out here. If, if you're you know being with them when you're at home and stuff. So I think it pushes you more than it holds you back. Well, you know, depending on the person, it can definitely affect people differently. I'd say. So I'm gonna end it up on a lighter note. Sorry for the bus kill, guys. No, you can't. No, it's, fine. it's your first time to the UK. What's the most annoying thing you've seen here already? Annoying? Yes. No ranch dressing. <laughs> the most annoying thing to me is more of a thing with myself where I keep looking the wrong way when I cross the street. But they do point out on, on the road. Look right, look left. Not always. Well, it, it depends yeah, if you're the... jaywalking. <laughs> I think the most annoying thing for me is uh, ev- uh, every shower uh, contraption is different in every hotel. I've had to relearn how to take a shower five different times. Air conditioner, the hot one. Yeah, and the hot yeah, one. that one's kind of that's kind of weird, but it's pretty obvious. Uh, What's up? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna, I was just gonna go, go off what you were saying. Oh, the air conditioning thing? Yeah. yeah. Air conditioning we, doesn't exist here. Every night, Mason and I like look over to each other while we're cuddled up, <laughs> nestled under some blankets, totally spooning. He has to look over his left shoulder to see me. But uh, every night, we just say, man, this would be a little more comfortable if there was just an air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. No cold, there's not really cold sodas. Is, oh yeah, what's up with new cold drinks? Your beers are kind of like had cold. room temperature. Well, they, it's, it's like a little cold. Just not everywhere I've gone, it's just cold little. enough. Just the temperature or the variety? The temperature. Okay. Yeah, like what? all the all the drink chillers in your supermarkets and they're they're pretty warm. Pretty warm. Yeah, compared to the I'll say, pass on that weird. comment. Yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> 
It's interesting. Your power outlets. Uh, oh, yeah, not having power. service because I've not had service unless I've <laughs> been makes on the sound like I hate it. I love but this place. I love I love the UK so much. It's just it's difficult like keeping in contact with family, having to having to like get in messages and updates and things like that within a thirty minute window every day yeah, when no I have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. No free Wi-Fi. Here. But, hey guys, what's the future holding for you guys? Are you coming back soon? We want to. We want to. Yeah. We're touring. Uh, I mean, we've, we're booked. Almost the rest of the entire year. Yeah. Uh, in the UK. Uh, nothing, nothing locked in. Yeah. There there have been inklings of talks, but nothing like locked in. Offers? Oh. I mean, if the if we can. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to. Know. I feel like it's a little soon. We've only played, like, after this is done, it's only seven Some shows, shows yeah. so... Yeah. I don't know if we can do it yet. I mean, maybe. Well, I've been waiting since I've seen you in Chicago two years ago. I was about to say. Um, I've seen you supporting I the Mighty okay. yeah. and um, Hail the Sun. Yeah. Also, so yeah. Some of our also a show I've been keeping up with you guys since. And I we did press that day too? No, no, I didn't. No. I but I've seen you play. Yeah. And I started following you guys, so I'm waiting for a headline show here. Really enjoyed your show outside. So I'm waiting for some build up of some crowd to get you here. But um, so any- here, here's here's what you can relay. We, so we just took Creeper out on our headliner, so you can just kind of like pass along that you know if they want to bring us out over here. Yeah. No, it's, it's crazy how big they are. Dan's here. We just talked to him <laughs> and Hannah. Hannah, yeah, she. I haven't seen Hannah yet. I haven't seen, I, I, saw her, well, I, I saw her, but I haven't seen. Her. I don't know what they're doing. She, yeah, I think they're both like doing doing yeah. shit. Uh, yeah, they're, they're the best people. It's such a good band. Yeah. Okay, hey, so we'll wrap it up with how? What's the common word to say hello in Kentucky? Hello. Hey. That's Hi. it. Hey. I say hey. hey. That's it. Or hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Is it it's not enough. howdy. It's not howdy. No, that's Texas. Yeah, that's Texas. Hey y'all is probably the. Yeah, probably like hey. We're that's what I say. Hey y'all. I would say hey, what's going on? Hey you guys. Hey hey hey. hey. So, anything you want to add to fans and listeners? Uh, come out to a show and hang out, and we'll talk to you and say what's up and have a good time. Cheers. 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 We love the UK, man. Yeah. We, can't, we can't wait to meet all uh, any and all of the UK fans or people that like our music or people that don't like our music and just want to hang out and be cool. Like, yeah, we like to we're hang. Pretty, uh, we're pretty laid back. Like, you don't have to like our music to talk to us. You know, we can talk about something else. I like sports. Can you talk about sports? Yeah, dude, I love football. I love do you call it football yet? Because you do play with your feet. I yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of like... Me and him are the football fans. Mm-hmm. The band. Okay, so the guys of Too Close to Touch, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.